So I'm looking for a crevice in the uh, in the in the outer uh, fellage end of the bark. About an inch, an inch to an inch and a quarter, inch and a half sort of thing into the bark because my target zone is in the sapwood. Make sure it's firmly seated. So you don't want any of this stuff uh, leaking out. If it does leak out though, that's not the end of the world uh, because it will be absorbed into the outer bark. Set up a uh, eight milliliter, eight milliliters. Hear that? That's a uh, good one sucked in there. So that might take uh, oh 15 or 20 seconds. In the meantime, I'm going to go over and do the other tree. So this tree, the the gray silas birch here, because there's borer around uh, just down the street. There's a tree that was recently killed by the bronze birch borer. I'm going to dose this one at a slightly higher rate. Uh, we're going to use uh, 60. Uh, milliliters and that's roughly uh, two uh, milliliters per centimeter and so that should be an effective de deterrent um, to the uh, the bronze birch borer. Okay so I'm looking for a fissure in the bark which is going to be a good injection site and uh, I want to get ideally over a main root and I can see that swelling there there's the main root that feeds all this side of the tree so I'm going to put my injection hole right in here right about an inch to an inch and a quarter nozzle Make sure the nozzle is firmly seated. And I'm going to eject it. And uh, I'll wait until it's fully absorbed. Uh, sometimes a minute, minute and a half is needed. Sometimes a few minutes longer. But uh, generally it's quite quick in uh, birch trees. As part of our trees and treatment, or our treatment for birch leaf miner and uh, bronze birch borer, uh, we uh, apply a fertilizer to your soil and go right into your lawn. It's a little puck of uh, fertilizing material, minerals, uh, nitrogen, uh, phosphorus, and potassium in 20, 10, and 5 ratios uh, with chelated micronutrients. So that uh, addresses the um, uh, nutrient or mineral deficiency that we see uh, so often. You can see uh, there's the, how the sun basically shines right through and it's very yellow in between the veins, whereas the veins sort of remain uh, a kind of a, a deeper green color and that's an indication of uh, deficiency of the mineral iron uh, the tree basically needs more iron in its sap in order to make uh, high quality chlorophyll and so that's provided uh, with our fertilizer treatment which like the tree is in takes about two years to fully wear off okay. so here now there's no more liquid left in these containers so we can take them out there's sometimes a little bit of a residual release of pressure there so a little puff of air and then we come come out of there. We leave a very very tiny hole. Um, uh, you saw how small that drill bit was. So that's uh, no greater a wound to this tree than uh, cutting off a small twig or branch, and it'll uh, seal that over completely. And uh, by the time it's uh, ready to be treated again, sometime in 2020.